Dear students, under the lecture series on the topic sequencing problems, here we have problem 2 under type 1, that is n jobs and 2 machines. So this is known as a 2 machine problem. Now follow, uh, following are printing and binding times in hours of jobs on respective machines. That is, the jobs are given, that is a book is the job here. So we have to uh, produce 1 to 6 books. So this is job 1, job 2 to job 6 we have here. And the two machines are given. The first ma machine uh, does the job of printing and the second mach uh, machine does the job of binding. So machine A and machine B and its processing times are all given here. We have to determine the order in which the jobs to be processed. That is we have to find the job sequence and also we have to minimize the total elapsed time. Total time required to complete all the jobs. And also we have to find the ideal time. Though it is not asked in the question, it is all, always good to find the ideal time. That is the time machine A and machine B remains idle. So I will just add that question also. So I have just included to find the ideal time of both the machines. So the first step is to find the job sequence. So let us do that. So since we have six jobs to be performed, I have drawn six cells over here. And as usual, the first machine is written on the left, which is machine A. And the second machine machine b is written on the right what is the first step that we have to do we have to look out for the minimum value out of all these processing times so if we see this one is the minimum value out of all the processing times given here and this one is corresponding to the job phi and also corresponding to machine b so job phi has to be written under machine b first so we have to write job phi over here so after writing, since we have completed it for our understanding, let's let's just give it a, a strike here. Okay. So that we know that it is completed. Next, we have to look out for the next least number. So if you see, what is the next least number that we have? It is 2. So it is under job 3 and it is corresponding to the machine A. So job 3 has to be written under machine A now. So we have job 3 under machine A. Now since job 3 is completed, we will just give a strike. Next, out of the remaining values, that is we have these values to be the remaining values. And another thing is, this 2 when we saw, it, it is repeated twice. It is here and here as well. So when we uh, do for it, this 2 is corresponding and in, it is in two different machines. We see that the repeated values are in two different machines which means that it is not a tie. So if it is not a tie then we can perform it individually. So this value is corresponding to job 3 under machine A. So I have written it over here. And this 2 is corresponding to job 1 under machine B which has to be written over here. So this is corresponding to job 1 under machine B. So I have written it under machine B and we have to strike it. So si simultaneously we have to check out for it. So these two were leased and they appeared in two different machines. So always remember when the repeated values appear in two different machines then it is not a tie. If they appear in the same machine then it becomes a tie. Okay. Yes. Now these two are completed. The remaining values we have here. So these are the remaining values. So out of the remaining values, what is the least? This 3 is the least. And it is corresponding to the job 6 and corresponding to machine B. So job 6 has to be written under machine B. So where is uh, machine B over here? So we have to write job 6 over here. So it is done now. So once this is done, we have to just give a strike. The remaining values are 7, 6, 5 and 9. And the least of the, those values is 5. And it is corresponding to the job 2 under machine B. So job 2 has to be written under machine B over here. So it has been filled in this manner. And while the only job remaining is, we see that it is, now job 2 is done. So just give a strike. The only job remaining is 4 and which has to be written in the left out cell. So this is the order of the job sequence in which the jobs has to be performed. So now we shall form the tabular column where we will write the job sequence in this order. So this is the table of column which I have explained in our previous video lecture. So kindly follow that first. 
so now the jobs has to be written here which has to be written in the order that we have found that is for we have to write it in this order 342615 so let us write that in this column so if you see all the jobs i have filled in this column in this manner okay in the order that we have found so after writing the jobs first we have to find the time i mean before or before that we have to write the processing time corresponding to these jobs i have written that is under machine a what is the processing times of these jobs that has to be filled here so it is given here so for 3 under machine a the processing time is 2 so that we have to write then for job 4 it is 6 so that we have to write then job 2 we have for that it is 7 so that we have to write and for job 6 next we have the value as 4 so that we have to write here and for job 1 the value is 5 and for 5 job 5 the value was 3 the processing time so that we have to write in a similar manner we have to fill in the processing time for machine b also that is for first we have 3 for job 3 the processing time is 4 next we have job 4 the processing time is 9 and next the job is 2 and the processing time is 5 next the job is 6 and the processing time is 3 and then we have job 1 and the processing time is 2 and then we have job 5 and the processing time is 1 so we have filled in all the processing times usually in many um, like uh, these kinds of problem you will not see this column in those problems but i have included it so that the i can show you how we are adding up the processing time and writing the time out for that reason i have included these two columns in the problem itself okay we shall proceed the problem now now if as the first step what will be the time in for the first job that we have here job 3 will enter machine a at time 0 always remember the time in for the first job is always 0 then it works for 2 hours so 0 plus 2 and when it finishes the job 2 hours will be over so since 2 hours is over the next job will enter after 2 hours so that only we will be writing here so this 2 should come here then 2 plus 6 so we have to add okay so remember 2 plus 6 which is 8 then job 2 enters at 8 hours so this 8 we have to write here so 8 plus 7 which will be 15 and after that job 6 enters at this hour so 15 you should write 15 plus 4 19 it comes out at 19 hours then job 1 enters at this time so 19 you write here 19 plus 5 so that will be 24 so 24 comes here and then 24 plus 3 is 27 so the time in and time out for machine a is over for all the jobs okay and now uh, for all the jobs we have to find the time in and time out and machine b now always remember first job enters machine b after completing in machine a so after 2 hours it enters here so this value we have to directly write here now 2 plus 4 we have to do which is 6 now what we should do we should check whether 6 is maximum or 8 is maximum which is highest out of all the of, out of these two values the highest value is 8 this is the maximum value that we have to write here so the maximum value has to be written here now 8 plus 9 you have to do which is 17 now again we have to check whether 17 is greater or 15 is greater so out of these two values which is the greater one 17 is the greater so that only we have to write here now 17 plus 5 we have to do which will be 22 now again we have to check whether 22 is greater or this 19 is greater 22 is greater so that value we have to write here now 22 plus 3 which will be 25 now 25 is greater or 24 is greater which is greater 25 so that we have to write here so 25 plus 2 is 
now again 27 is greater or here also we have 27 both are same only so we have to write 27 if not we should write the greater value over here so remember that so 27 plus 1 is 28 so 28 gives us the total elapsed time so this is the total time taken by all the jobs to complete the complete the job in machine A and machine B. This is known as the total elapsed time. So let us take and write that. So we have taken and written it. Next we have to find the ideal time for machine A and ideal time for machine B for which we have to sum up the processing time which we will require in the formula. So what is what are the processing time for machine a, it is th these values. So, if you have to add all these values, 2 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3. And so, that will give us 27. So, this is the total of the processing time of machine A. So, processing time, total processing time of machine A. And next, we have to sum up the total processing time for machine B. So, 4 plus 9 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 which gives us 24 so this is 24 so this gives us the process total processing time for machine b so using these two we have to find the ideal time so what is the formula for ideal time so the formula is ideal time for machine a is equals total elapsed time minus the processing time for machine a that is the total processing time so that is equal to what is the total elapsed time we have here which is 28 so 28 Minus what is the pro total processing time for machine A? This sum that we have found, which is 27. And so, therefore, the ideal time for machine A is 1 hour. So, machine A remains uh, ideal for 1 hour. In a similar manner, we have to find the ideal time for machine B. So, therefore, the ideal time for machine B is total elapsed time minus processing time for machine B, which is 28. So, because total elapsed time is 28. Minus uh, processing time for machine B is 24, which is 4 hours. And uh, therefore, machine B remains idle for 4 hours. Machine A remains idle for 1 hour. And the total elapsed time is 28 hours. We have found all the required answers. So, I hope you would have understood this problem better. Kindly follow the upcoming video lectures where we will have more clash and tie in the processing time. Uh, due to its its uh, its repeat if if it repeats more than one time uh, and if it repeats in the same mission what has to be done so that will be uh, that we will be learning in our upcoming video lectures so kindly follow the video lectures that will be uploaded soon thank you